The levator scapula muscle. The levator scapula is a long, thin muscle that is found on either side of the neck and deep to the trapezius muscle group. This muscle attaches from the upper cervical vertebrae and runs downward to attach to the top of the scapula. It primarily functions to position the scapula for various movements of the shoulder joint, but can also flex the cervical spine to either side as well. Here are the landmarks for the levator scapula. First we have the cervical vertebrae and the scapula. The origin of the levator scapula is on the transverse processes of C1 through C3 and sometimes C4. And it inserts on the superior angle of the scapula. Contraction of the levator scapula produces scapular elevation with the cervical spine stabilized and lateral flexion of the cervical spine with the scapula stabilized. The rhomboids are synergistic during scapular elevation, whereas the upper trapezius and scalenes are synergistic during lateral flexion. The lower trapezius is antagonistic during scapular elevation and the contralateral upper trapezius and scalene are antagonistic during lateral flexion. Here are some associated symptoms for the levator scapula muscle. Dr. Travell refers to this muscle as the crick in the neck or the stiff neck muscle. Clients will typically complain of pain at the angle of the neck just at the base of the neck and the shoulder area. They are unable to turn their head to the same side because of the contraction. If they're turning their head to the right and it hurts there, then they definitely have a problem in the right levator scapula. They may also complain of shortness of breath. Some factors that may activate or perpetuate levator scapulae trigger points include working at a computer with the head turned, holding a telephone with the shoulder, carrying a heavy bag with the strap over the shoulder, chilling of the muscle during sleep, sleeping on their stomach with their head turned and elevated on a pillow, Emotional stress that they may describe as the weight of the world on their shoulders. The use of improperly fitted crutches or a cane. Swimming. A car accident. And the acute stage of upper respiratory infection may also activate levator scapulae trigger points. Some trigger points that are associated with levator scapula include the upper trapezius, the scalenes, and if the head is strongly tilted to one side, then the SEM trigger points will be involved. Clients with active trigger points in the levator scapula are often misdiagnosed with torticollis or simply stiff neck.